So uh, welcome everyone. Um, I've got Mike Barbarossa here. He's a fellow YouTuber. I guess your channel specializes in like skeptic community stuff or what? Yeah, I kind of I kind of do my own thing, but it's kind of I've I've kind of ended up in the skeptic community. It's kind of one of those things where you just kind of end up. Right. And uh, today we're going to be debating the ethics of veganism. And um, I'm assuming you saw my previous debates with everyone else, you know, like Ranting Monkey and Athene and all that. Yeah, I've seen a good chunk of them, not everything. Uh, I did see parts of those debates, yes. Okay, so for those of you unfamiliar with my position, um, I think animals should be given certain rights for the same reasons we give human beings certain rights. Human beings are sentient. We have an ability to feel pain and suffering. Therefore, it only makes sense to give human beings the right to life. Murder is wrong. So for that same reason, uh, animals are sentient. They can feel pain and suffering. They have a will to live. Uh, therefore, killing animals is wrong. So I think we should extend that right to life to animals. Obviously, I don't believe animals should have all the same rights as human beings. Like, I don't think animals should have a right to vote, but I do think they should at least have a right to life. Uh, so that's the position that I'm starting from. Um, why don't you talk about your side of things? Well, I think that that's actually a, a great segue of what I wanted to talk about, and that's I wanted to dive right into Name the Trait. Okay, great. Okay, and what I'm getting from Name the Trait is just like you said, that these animals deserve uh, this moral code. They, they deserve to be included into our moral code that we've already are including human beings in. And so it used, instead of humans get all these rights, it's like a right not to be murdered, raped, stolen from, uh, enslaved, all this. We're going we're gonna to add animals to that. We're gonna, instead of humans, it's going to be sentient beings. And that's what name the trait does, correct? Uh, yeah, essentially. Okay. And uh, so, so we're going to invite these uh, sentient beings in, which is basically animals, and uh, and and what that what we're inviting into is these uh, these kind of things that are there's always a victim and a perpetrator. And so, for this conversation, I'm going to say, like a uh, an animal that's going to be slaughtered is going to be the victim, and it's a person with a knife who's hungry. That's the perpetrator. Okay. Right. And this type of an all immorals acts uh, that we went over, murder, rape, theft, slavery, they're unbending. We have these laws or these moral codes which protect the rights of the victim over the any needs for a perpetrator. Like, say, for instance, uh, uh, there's millions of people going hungry tonight, right? So they can't go out and steal food. Because you cannot take their the needs of they would be a perpetrator. Things if they went to steal something, they would be thieves, and so the dynamic would change. Now they're thieves. Now whoever they're stealing from is perpetrators, and so that's unbending. It doesn't matter how much your needs are. You cannot take your perpetrator needs over a victim's rights. Uh, if you need slaves real badly, you can't take slaves. It doesn't matter what your needs are. And that's our basic foundation for moral codes. And with name the trait, you are you are going to the to the very foundation of morals, and you're changing who's involved. Okay. okay. Um, I think we're going to disagree a little bit there. You you said foundation of morals. Um, could you kind of elaborate on that topic? Because I I don't think I'm totally understanding you there. Well, we, ha we have all these morals where we're looking at human beings and we're saying, well, that person can't be murdered. He can't be raped, stolen from, enslaved. And you're, you're saying that sentient beings are going to be included in that protection and a potential right, vic right. Victim, victimhood, okay? And that brings us back to my video where I did a video on Name the Trait, and I went into the details of indigenous peoples and your quote was, quote, the name the trade argument only applies to contexts where killing slash murder is unnecessary and there are other options. Okay, so what you're saying is that if there's no beans around, then all that goes out the window. All this moral code, this very foundational moral code that we've laid out suddenly goes out the window just because someone can't find something else to eat. Now, that's not a moral code. That is taking the 
that is taking the needs of the perpetrator over the rights of the victim, and that's not how we do moral codes at all. Oh, okay. I think I'm. I, I think I'm understanding your position a little more. Um, okay. Well, the thing is, there have been situations where um, we. It's not maybe not necessarily a moral code, but you know, there's a, there is still a law in the United States where marijuana is illegal. Um, there was a guy who had um, glaucoma, like he was uh, slowly becoming more and more blind. Uh, marijuana actually slows down or prevents blindness from glaucoma. And he was, you know, brought into court, he was going to be charged, and he argued with the judge, well, any reasonable person in my circumstance would smoke marijuana even though it's illegal and they granted him the right to smoke marijuana and he didn't get charged so um we well, do actually place needs of the individual before uh but that's it, that's that's of, well, wait, wait, wait wait it's sort of like applying the law without any regard for its intent that's sort of what you're doing here no, no, I'm not talking about marijuana is not immoral. That's just some bogus law. We're talking about basic moralities. And what you're doing is you're not being consistent. That's not name the trait. Name the trait. I don't see any consistency there. Like, I mean, even with human beings, we say it's wrong to kill human beings. Well, if somebody breaks into your home and is going to kill you, well, like, at least in, in the United States, it's a little different here in Canada. But in the, in the United States, you have the right to shoot and kill that person. And I think... Most people, even in a country like Canada, where something like that is uh, sort of a legal gray area, most people around the world would say, well, yeah, if somebody breaks into your house and they might be a threat, you know, that's to your not murder. livelihood. That's not murder. Well, that's, not, that's not what I'm talking well, about. I'm talking about that's... murder. What we define as murder is wrong. Well, okay, well, like, I've seen a few of your previous videos, and you kind of like to play this word game where that's not murder, like this is. I, I, I don't really, I'm not interested in playing word games. Like, I'm arguing from the position that killing animals for the purpose of eating meat is wrong. We don't need to use the word murder if you don't want. We could just say killing animals for this purpose. Yeah, um, well, well, so, name the, tra name the trait well, word. So, including. again, well, so, well, wait. So, again, like, murdering a human is bad, okay? Well, well, let's just say killing a human being for no justifiable purpose, like, no real... Killing a human for really no justifiable purpose is wrong. Um, killing a human being in self-defense is okay. Okay, well, killing an animal for no justifiable reason is wrong. Uh, killing an animal out of absolute necessity for your own life, uh, that is okay. Okay, well, so... Contradiction there. So, uh, you know, so as indigenous people, they're going to... Uh, let's, let's kind of put a number out there that's not ridiculous because we can't really... But let's say he has to kill 5,000 sentient beings in his lifetime uh, for it to sustain one sentient being, uh, this human, this indigenous person. Okay, is that fair? Is that, is that a good moral oh, code? 5,000 in his entire lifetime? Yeah. So 5,000 5, of these sentient beings are going to have to sacrifice themselves so we could sustain one sentient being. And you're okay with that. You just I just read you the quote that said you're okay with that because he can't find anything else to eat. Okay, Correct? well... I mean, is that yes or no? Well, yeah. Well, the, the, the thing okay. is, like, we kind of already do this with human beings. I mean, we live in a planet with finite resources, and we we're forced into positions where we actually do have to kill each other to survive. Like, uh, it's not necessarily... Um, I don't know, that's getting outside of... That's kind of, sorry? That's 5,000. So, so what you're saying is that, that certainly that human being has a lot more value than these other sentient beings since you are allowing him to kill 5,000 of those other sentient beings just for him to sustain himself through okay, one Okay, well, this, this is sort of getting outside the topic of morals a little bit. The thing here, The thing here is, okay, if I were in a position where... I had to do whatever I could to survive. Like, if I didn't kill animals out in the wilderness, and I was like some indigenous tribes person, it's totally unreasonable for, for anyone to suspect someone would starve themselves to death just to adhere to some dogmatic principle that it's wrong to kill no matter what. It, that just doesn't make any sense to me. So, yeah, I'd say... If you're an indigenous tribes person and that's literally like that's absolutely your only means of survival, I 
think it's fine to kill okay, other so, animals to survive. Yeah, so to, to save that life, her, your, your one life, you're going to do the certain deaths of other sentient beings. So, in conclusion, the human life is worth at least 5,000 times more than the animal life, correct? That's that's what you've that's the that's, conclusion that you've laid out here. You've well, allowed this. You've allowed these five thousand killings. Well, listen, that's kind of a weird way to look at it. You can't really quantify the value of other beings based on how many you justify killing to save another life. That that's a little too complicated and weird. Um, I'd say if I were in that position, um, it like it would I don't think I'd starve to death. I don't think it's reasonable to expect anyone else to starve to death to adhere to some dogmatic, you know, moral code where killing is always wrong. Wait, wait um, how, <laughs> it's all of a sudden an, a dogmatic code as to where well, before yeah, you were always saying. saying it's dog. Okay, well, Mike, if if there were people who were going to invade our country, say the Russians were invading, okay, and we had to go to war with the Russians, like, the are you saying that, well, sir, sorry, are you saying that your life is more valuable than any other person's life? Or, like, it, it could be more valuable than five people's lives? And then when they're attacking, <laughs> yeah, if they're attacking me and I well, get it. Well, that's, okay, so, well, that's the thing. You're You're kind of you're separating things as if there's a, a significant difference here when there's not like you're saying that it's perfectly reasonable to defend yourself and protect your own well-being well that's the, exactly the same thing i'm saying so i don't see a contradiction here no because that, that, those are innocents you know those animals that you're hunting they have nothing to do with you they're not threatening you they're bothering you but you need them to save your well, precious not, life well, five, times well, five thousand well like listen um you're Innocent, I mean, they're all playing the game of survival, okay? I, I don't see what's wrong with a human being playing the game of survival. Like, just like you would if the Russians were to invade and you had to kill five, ten Russians, who knows how many confirmed kills you can get. Like, are you saying that your life is more valuable than ten people? Like, no, it's there, just there are something... There ten people that, well, ten no, people listen, that are attacking it, me. They, well, they, they no, are, it's... Yeah. Well, well, listen, they might have perfectly legitimate reasons to attack you. Who who the fuck knows? But you'd preserve your own well-being, would you not? Yeah, sure. If I was being attacked, yeah, I have that right. Yeah, That's not right. immoral for self-defense. I don't think so either. And I don't think it's immoral to preserve your own existence. Like, if you absolutely have to kill other animals to survive, I don't see I don't see how that's a contradiction with within my own moral code. Well, wouldn't you save 5,000 lives by just letting yourself starve to death or eating grubs or trying to find some other way of eating something? Okay, well, if I could survive eating nothing but insects instead of killing, like, snakes, lizards, bulls, whatever the hell is living out in the wilderness, like, yeah, I'd rather live off of that, personally. But not with you, what you're allowing these indigenous people to do because you're saying okay, it's necessary. Well, I'm sure they're living in a way that is necessary. Like if it was actually practical for them to live only off of insects, they probably would do it because hunting actually requires a lot of effort. And they do actually like insect eating is pretty common. With okay. Let's, animals. let's move on to the necessary. Cause that's all you say. You say unnecessary. And right. now we're, now we're saying that this, this indigenous person deep, deep in the woods, he's, necessary well okay me living in the lower 48 you're saying it's it's not necessary for me correct um what do you mean like i'm living in the united states in the uh, lower 48 where there's plenty of tofu plenty of beans plenty of lentils for me available for well, me right um that's like that's the center of my argument like if you can like from my perspective, it's completely unnecessary for somebody living in modern Western civilization to eat meat. Maybe there's very, very rare circumstances where, like, some people are living out in the woods there's somewhere a, in the middle yeah, of nowhere. People, but sorry, yeah, a lot of people do live in Alaska. They live off the woods. They, they they're poor. They, well, they need well, yeah, money. I know, I know. There's people living in Alaska. Like, there's the Inuit up here in Canada where, like, they literally can't afford to live off of food that's shipped in, and they, you know, have to kill animals there. But, um, you know, in modern Western civilization where there's like grocery stores and shit, um, like a situation that I guess you're in where you could just go to the grocery store, uh, you have a variety of plant options. I think it's totally immoral to uh, choose to eat meat.
Okay, so you, you've you've already you've said that there's now established that there's different levels of difficulty of to to going to to be a vegan, from the guy in San Francisco to the Inuit living way out in North. Okay. Oh, I'm sure there like there is varying levels of difficulty. Like it might be more difficult for me to be vegan living in Saskatchewan compared to Toronto. Um, but I'd say if you have access to like beans, some green veggies, like there's really no excuse to uh, choose to use like maybe some just like, animals. If you can just get a hold of a few cases of cold canned beans, then then it's uh, immoral for you, right? So yeah, like really if, if you can get adequate amount of nutrition from plant foods, then yeah, totally. You don't, you don't see that as disruptive to a lot of people's lives that are just kind of because they're kind of on their words. Like I said, I told you there's. Um, now imagine, say, say there's uh, from a scale to one to a thousand. There's a thousand different levels of difficulty to going vegan. Okay. Okay. Someone is going to be a one. Some are going to be a nine hundred ninety nine. Mm -hmm. Some are going to be one seventy four. Okay. Where do you judge this necessary stuff? Oh, like, like if you can get adequate nutrition on a plant based diet, then it's unnecessary what, to eat meat. Like, what if it's very difficult and, and you just have to eat and well, the beans um, going, and uh, well, we're going to have to well we're going to have to um, agree on what we actually consider difficult. Like if you mean difficult by okay, well you can't go to Doomies and get like deep fried chicken and vegan waffles like in Saskatchewan. You can only get like, you know, plain whole foods. Okay, it might be more difficult from like a purely pleasure standpoint. Like Man, I have to eat beans and rice and potatoes again. I, I can't go out to Doomies and get me some fried vegan chicken and waffles. Okay, but that's still not a justification. Like you're just using your own personal pleasure to justify, you know, needlessly killing an animal. And I don't think that's justified. Okay, but that's that's that goes see, that just breaks name the trait. Name the trait has set out, and then now you're you're trying to fudge out of name the trait no, I'm because not. we have these yeah yeah we have these indigenous people. You just dropped it. You just said doesn't apply to where it's unnecessary. And now we've got a thousand different less levels of necessary. So what do you mean a thousand different levels of necessary? Because thousand different levels of no, difficulty. No, well, no. There's not a thousand different levels of necessary. Like I'm, I'm agreeing with you that there's varying levels of difficulty for people depending on where you live and your personal situation. But um, varying levels of necessary. That's a completely different thing. Well, different different levels of necessary. I don't even understand how there there can be varying different different levels of necessary. It's either necessary or unnecessary. Uh, well, that's, like I said, people who could grub around and barely keep alive by, uh, uh by eating bugs or something like in a jungle, okay, rather well, than someone who's I don't consider, completely I don't, starved well, to death. Sorry, I, I don't consider insects vegan. Okay, well, whatever they're gonna they're gonna eat. Okay, so the name the trait. You guys do this. And during the, you guys tried to avoid it during the uh, Andy Worski debate because they, no, they brought it up, and you guys, you guys tried to get away from it real quick because you realized that name the trait to be consistent, you have to say no to all killing of animals. They're no, sentient beings. Yeah, no, you do. Like just like how you say, okay, well, we can agree that murder is wrong. Okay, so murder, yeah. are you saying, okay, like here you're playing word games, okay? Um, I don't consider, like, let's be clear about this. I don't consider um, some, like, indigenous tribes person out in the jungle who has to kill an animal to survive. I don't consider that murder, but I would consider uh, somebody who, you know, who is like me, who has access to all these plant options, and you can even go out to, like, an amazing vegan restaurant like Doomies as much as you want. Uh, I'd consider it murder for him to like kill and eat an animal. So you're you're kind of But what about so do you abide by name the trait where you're at? Are you able to do that? Yeah, sure. Totally. Uh so what is it you feed your dog? Um the the wolf dog that I have, uh yep. the Czechoslovakian wolf dog, she's right now on I think she's eating about fifty percent vegan right now. No. Okay, it's eighty actually. Um, it's she. She was just having a bit of trouble with the antibiotics she was on, and we scaled back the vegan food because okay, without go on. without the, the meat? gut, sorry, without no, well, without her gut microbiota, um, she can't digest that as well. 
But um, once she's through with the, the antibiotics are out of her system, she's going to go on a completely vegan diet. And the other little Pomeranian we just got, he can go vegan right now. He hasn't okay, no so you, fa you, failed, you failed dividing by name the trait because you fed your dog. Uh, no. Yeah, yeah, you fed him meat. Well, no, I wouldn't consider it ideal to feed it meat. But the thing is... Um, like situation, like the situation was a little bit more complicated. Like, are you saying that I should have just killed a dog? No, you shouldn't have to kill the dog, but you're the one who laid down these name the trait rules that you're not abiding to and no one can abide by them. The, the, uh, well, yeah, you can like, like the thing is with my dog, I, I didn't just go to the grocery store and bought, buy like bought meat. Like I was, I, you could argue that I was supporting the animal agriculture industry by proxy, um, we were feeding her raw meat, but it was actually unfit for human consumption. It was from like some company that you know sells raw dog meat. It's meat that's unfit for human consumption, and it's gross shit like chicken liver and chicken hearts and um, turkey necks stuff well, like that. Sorry, well, that's it's all unfit used. for that's all like beings can't eat it, so they just use it for dogs. So like by proxy, you could say I was supporting it that way, and um, also like the normal uh, dog kibble. Again, that stuff that they can't sell to humans, so it's like rendered and turned into dog food. So well, my by proxy, you could argue, but again, like those sources of dog foods wouldn't even exist if it wasn't for animal agriculture for human consumption. Okay, but my point is that all people are guilty of not abiding by name the trait, and that includes everyone who's eaten meat, and you realize that sentient beings die when farming vegetable crops? Well, yeah, but again, um, you're, you have sort of like an all-or-nothing mentality. Like, I'm not saying ethics are a zero-sum game. Like, if you can't be 100% ethical, then you're a shit person. Um, it's... Like, you're, we're trying to reduce suffering as much as reasonably possible, suffering and death as much as reasonably possible. Like, you can't live 100% yeah. ethically, but, you know, you can make uh, very easy changes. Like, you could so not we're, buy, you know, meat for one so thing. So we're back to everyone being guilty, and you're back to just the reduction argument. That's all you have. That's no, what I'm saying. You need to abandon name well, no. the great. No, I don't. Like, because again, um, well, we'll, we'll t let, let's talk about the um, agriculture like the animals being killed in agriculture for harvesting grains. The, you you want to, like, we animal, can discuss animals are, that. Animals are killed? Well, I, we can discuss animals being killed in agriculture to, you know, produce, like, plant foods. And, I, like, we can talk about how I don't think that, um, that, dis, that refutes the name, the trait argument. No, you got, but, uh, okay. like, we can discuss that if you want. Like, I but think how, it's interesting they, to discuss how the, the, the vegetable crops and grains that they kill animals and that's used to feed the cows? Is that what you're saying? Well, that's part of it. Like if we didn't have animal agriculture, we could seriously scale back um, plant agriculture quite a lot because we wouldn't need to feed these animals. That, so that is that is one benefit. Like if you're going to claim that so many animals are killed in agriculture to produce like, you know, grains like corn, wheat, soy, stuff like that. If we actually didn't have animal ag animal agriculture, we wouldn't need nearly as much farmland. So still by going vegan, if you're saying that is a moral issue, that animals are being killed in agriculture, like again, going vegan would reduce that. We, we, we just keep coming back to reduction and the name the trait keeps well, failing. That, that isn't, well, still, like we can actually talk, uh, we can even take out the reductionist context of this. Um, the thing is, if we needed to feed the human population and there were a group of people who were, I don't know, taking all the food and reducing, uh, like I guess this actually does happen, um, like human beings, we have a struggle for resources on the planet. And if there were some neighboring people who were competing with us, taking all the food, and then we wouldn't be able to eat, um, I don't think most people would have any moral issues with killing other humans so that they can eat. Like again, um, you know, we're, we're all competing, we're playing the game of life where uh, like on some level you do have to cause some harm to be able to live. But I, I still don't see how that refutes so, me. Yeah, we're, 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 we're back to reduction in the number of animals that get killed and all this. Well, sure. Rather than this moral argument, you, you need to abandon. Uh, do you know Christians, how they try to persuade people to come into Christianity? How? Oh. Uh, well, some people like uh, the Westboro Baptist Church, they tell them you're going to go to hell if you don't right, right. wise up and go to And then there's other people. 
the much more effective way to get people into Christianity is say, oh, come in. This is such a great, great thing. Christianity is we're so peaceful and this, you're going to have such glory. OK, you're using the Westboro Baptist Church method of trying to get people to uh, switch to veganism. And that doesn't work. This is 2000. This is the current year. You're, you're not going to be able to bash people over their head with morality. You need to switch to. Well, I don't always. Well, I mean, like that, when, a, when a moral argument is reasonable, I'll make a moral argument. Um, when other like practical arguments like health, environment, stuff like that, I, I also make those arguments. So I kind of come at it both ways. Like, again, um, just because it might not even be the most effective form of uh, vegan activism, that doesn't mean my moral arguments are not legitimate. But everyone's immoral. We just pointed out that, that, that no one can even abide by name that trait. Well, no, just because um, people aren't absolute, can't live absolutely perfectly, and you know we're we're organisms that have to survive on this planet with finite resources, and we have to compete with other organisms. That doesn't mean you're immoral. Like we can set uh, moral baseline standards for morality. That's what we have to do with every law we make. Like we don't say, oh, well, you can't um, live perfectly and prevent all murders and all killing. So just because you don't murder people personally, that that doesn't mean you're you're a good person. You're still a piece of shit who you know probably caused some somebody somewhere to suffer and die. Like that's not how things are. Okay, but you kind of beat over the head the un unnecessary killing of animals because we eat meat. It kills animals, right? That's right. what you've said over and over and over again. Unnecessary killing and suffering of animals. Okay, I want to go over what happens if we, everyone stops eating meat and exactly what stops, okay? Okay, sure. Okay, so I snap my fingers. Everyone stops eating animal products, period. Okay, grocery store is full of meat, right? No one buys it. So the slaughterhouse okay. calls, slaughter, the meat processors call the grocery store. You want some meat? Oh, are you kidding? Everyone stopped eating meat. Okay, so all that meat's going to rot and go to waste, okay? Mike, I, I kind of want to stop you here because you can't just snap your, your magic fingers and make everyone stop eating meat immediately. Oh, so I'm, you're, I'm just... you're, okay, well, y you can finish your thought, but I'm just saying you're making things incredibly abstract here, and I'm just saying this would never happen. No, I am saying if it did happen, we're going well, to we're, we're gonna try to figure out what will happen if everyone, even if it's gradual. Right. We're going to do it all at once just to, just to see what happens. Well, I mean, it will be gradual. Like, I, I'm, ju I'm just saying you, you can't use this argument, like, a, as some sort of legitimate reason to keep eating animal products because, okay, in this magic fantasy world you created where you can just magically snap your fingers and everyone stops eating meat, like, well, we'd, a, have these, we'd have these like, logistical problems. That's like the alien where we're just we're, we're putting well, up not a really. scenario. Okay. Well, no, like, aliens well, would let me, invade Earth. Let me finish. Okay. So that happens, and then, uh, okay, we're at the meat processor, and so the slaughterhouse says, do you guys want some meat? Said no, everyone says no. Okay, these animals, they're alive and no one wants. No one's going to feed them. They're going to die anyway, right? Okay. They're okay, so no, you, you, you prevented zero killings. Okay, now, but now we're getting into the argument. Okay, now the bull breeder calls the farm and says, do you guys want some breeding bulls? And he says, are you kidding? Everyone stopped eating meat. So now we're getting to what stopped. We stopped creating animals. We stopped breeding them. And what I think is funny is I see a lot of, uh, <laughs> I see a lot of vegan, they have an animal said, we want to live. You'll never be alive if it wasn't for the, these animals never would exist. So that's what stops. It's a, so saying that saying that unnecessary killing is like saying unnecessary ink, 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 egg in incubation. Okay, um, I you, think you I know what you're one little to say. part. Okay, I think I, I know what you're trying to say. I saw a previous video where you kind of touched on this topic. So you're saying um, there's an overall net positive effect of us breeding animals for uh, meat consumption. No, I'm just saying what stops is their lives stop, not killing. No killing stops. Okay, well, if they don't exist, they can't be killed, so... Yeah, then they, they can't live either. It's right, so thing. killing stops. <laughs> yeah, everything stops, yeah. Killing is right, a okay. tiny, part, tiny part of the whole process, but... Okay, well, well Mike, um, if... No. Okay, well, Mike, let, let, like, let's put this in an anthropocentric context. Um, if human beings were breeding other human beings to be killed for meat, um, you'd have a problem with that, wouldn't you? 
Yeah, I wouldn't have because the one thing, and you wouldn't admit it, but humans are, are valued more than animals, 5,000 to one. And you wouldn't say it, but well, like, you agree, you that, you agree like, with that too. You, you like, again, I, I'm not going to go by, okay, well, a human being in his entire existence in this situation would kill around 5,000 animals. Therefore, an animal has the value of 5,000 human beings. Like, uh, no, e like, li okay, let's say for the sake of argument, an animal has one five thousandth the value of a human being if it's unnecessary to kill that animal like if you can live a like perfectly reasonable balanced life without killing that animal even if that if it has one five thousandth one five thousandth th whatever th 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 <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't see how it's justified to kill that animal for no reason okay let's see here because, like, even, um, like, you could argue that within our own human species, like, there are people who have far less value than someone else. Like, some retarded heroin crystal meth addict living in the street who's a complete degenerate, he has a hell of a lot less value than someone like Stephen Hawking, who's contributed immensely to our scientific progress. Like, you can't just say, okay, well, that person has, like, one five thousandth his value. Like, you'd kill, like... 5,000 of those retarded, degenerate meth addicts to save one Stephen Hawking, does that make it okay to kill that person? Like, I don't think you'd say so. Well, that's what I kind of get into rather than sentience. Uh, I like to uh, consider life structure as to what is, uh, what is, uh, makes up someone deserving of life. Like if you had if you had two twins, they're two twin brothers, 30, 30 years old, one of them's a brilliant surgeon, one of them's in jail for uh, murder, and because of his mental issues, he's gonna he's gonna spend the rest of his life in solitary confinement, just a miserable existence. And you had to kill one. Who would you kill? Okay, well, if it's like, I I still don't see how this refutes the name the trait argument because these are just practical issues that we come across. Sort of like how. Like saying that, okay, in this particular situation, you'd have to kill a human being to save your own life. Uh, that doesn't actually, that doesn't refute the ideological principle that it's wrong to needlessly kill a human being. So in that situation, if you had to kill like the guy who's a murderer and who's mentally insane, or the dude who lives a perfectly upstanding life, if you, if you had to choose between killing one of the two, I'd say like, you, you know, the person who has less life value. And um, similarly, like, I'd say a human being has more life value than any one animal. Like, you know, we have higher intelligence, sentience, um, greater capacity to experience well-being. So in that situation, I think it's, like, okay for a, an indigenous tribes person to, like, kill an animal for survival. Um, I, I still don't understand how this refutes name the trait. Like, I can understand that there's, like, a hierarchy of value, and even within our own species, there's sort of a hierarchy of value. I still don't understand how that... Because, yeah, name the trait. You you uh, invited the animals into the moral structure, which is right, totally. when it comes to morals, which is perpetrator and victim. You always have to be steadfast in enforcing those morals and you can't take the need of a perpetrator a potential perpetrator or there be a starving person in india well we we do actually bread. we do like when in the legal system we do actually take circumstances into account so that's no, not totally that's appeal to legality sorry that's appeal to, that's appeal to legality there we're, we're, well, we're going to get mean, into the well, our legal fundamental system morality does, well our legal system does kind of reflect our own morals like our own moral code i mean if somebody stole food because they were starving and they had no ability to like eat unless they stole we like without even a legal system we could understand like okay you stole maybe we could change the type of punishment for you rather than somebody who just stole because they're selfish dick it's still immoral what you're saying there is uh, i was so desperate and hungry i had to do something immoral i had to steal because what if, like, say you, uh, let's say we got a bunch of poor people in India who are very hungry, and they said, "Well, I'm I'm going to steal. I've I've justified this," and so they go down to a small, a real small, modest, and they clean him out of his groceries, and now he's poor. You see how that doesn't work? It doesn't well, work well, even right. in the most desperate of situations. You have to be steadfast. Well, to the, the victim. 
Well, I perpetrator. Well, I understand how we have laws for for that exact reason, but I'm also saying like we're kind of getting a, a bit off topic from the name the trait. Um, yeah, the I, I still has, is well, a, has added the animals to that moral protection code. That's okay, what you well, did. here's the thing I think you're not quite understanding. Um, I'm not saying animals should have every right that a human being should have. Like, for instance, I think they should have a right to life for the reasons of sentience. Like, they have sentience sort of like, you know, just like how we, we have sentience. They can experience pain, suffering, well-being. They can even feel love. Um, um, but the thing is, they're not intelligent enough to be allowed to vote. Like, so they shouldn't have <sighs> that right to vote. So who, I'm who not cares? saying they should be completely. I, I'm not saying they should be completely incorporated into our moral system. Like they shouldn't be having the same rights as people. But for the same reasons we give humans rights, a animals should have rights as well. No, we're talking about not talking about voting. That's ridiculous. <clears throat> we're talking about the fundamental right to life. And right. You, before we had always say uh, humans have these rights to be raped and not to be raped, not okay, to be murdered. Well, and well, now you're I adding sentience. You're you're you're. You're well, well, Mike, human why, being, why, don't, why don't we actually talk theory. about that? What, uh, what is it about a human being that gives them a right to life? That gives them the right to life? Yeah, like, well, why should a human being have oh, a not, fundamental not, right to life? I mean, not be murdered? Is that what you're saying? Not, this right to life, that's kind of vague. Not be murdered? Okay, what well, what, what qualities does a human being have that gives them the right to not be killed for no justifiable reason? Well, it's not their qualities. It's just we have a fairness agreement, and and to not have this agreement would be completely absurd. And that's why you're social contract. Like, yeah, no. Well, it's 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 absolute fairness. It's like no one's well, social murdered. contract. You no you actually murdered. sorry. No one's murdered you, right? Right. I mean, that's pretty obvious. <laughs> okay. So wh how would it, how would it be f since all seven billion people on this planet have have committed to not murdering you? How fair would it be for you to murder somebody? Wouldn't be very fair, would it? Right. Well, you're what you're talking about here is social contract. Um, huh. I, I've seen I've seen another one of your videos where you yeah, talk about veganism. Yeah. You're you're talking about social contract here, even if you don't realize it. Um, just naturally, human beings create an implicit morality where, okay, I'll agree to not kill you as long as you won't kill me. Now that's practicality, not morality. Well, that, if we don't that do is that, it's chaos. Problem. Because because well, we have this agreement, it, everyone it, stays alive. <laughs> well. Like a sense of morality doesn't necessarily have to. I, I'd say an individual doesn't necessarily have to have a sense of morality to agree to a social contract. I mean, psychopaths and sociopaths, they'll agree to a social contract for their own benefit. Like there's a, a very practical, you know, reason why somebody would follow a social contract. But um, in terms of like an actual civilization existing, like a human civilization, um, you, in order for social contracts, like an implicit morality to be present among, you know, even like groups of tens of people, like less than a hundred there, we have to have something like empathy to, uh, have a social contract to form in the first place. So, um, what I'm saying is like animals can form social contracts and they form them the same way human beings do and there's actually quite a few rodent studies that are very interesting uh jordan peterson uh talked about this in one of his lectures um rodents will create an implicit moral system uh based on empathy they can actually empathize with other rats they'll think in their little rat brains Okay, well, if I was in that situation, I wouldn't want to, you know, be hurt, so I won't hurt that other rat. And that's an implicit moral system. And it's similar to how human beings create our moral systems. Like, obviously, we're more intelligent. We can create actual, you know, governments and laws in place. But um, animals are capable of having moral agency and forming a social contract, even outside of their own species, uh, in order to play there has to be um, an implicit moral system because if there isn't an implicit moral system, well, you could kill the other person or the other animal. So um, bears, if you've ever, like, just look on YouTube real quick, you can find videos of uh, bears playing with humans. Well, the bears have to have 
like some amount of moral agency and understand like an implicit morality or else they just tear the human being to pieces. Well, if they so, were hungry, they would. Okay, they would well, an instant. Again, like again, <laughs> if a human being were hungry, they'd kill another human being and eat it. Have you ever seen Liberia? So I, I don't see how this... Well, that's like, a moral, that's a moral to have a certain, another person's certain death so you could feel your belly. That's, that's not a moral act right there. Well, I'm just saying people do that. Like you're saying a bear will tear a human being to pieces if it's hungry. Well, a human being will tear you to pieces if he's hungry enough. Are you saying there's, so still, I, I, there's cannibalism I, in these days? I've... Oh, absolutely. Have you ever heard of the Liberian civil, civil wars? There was no food and there was all these civil wars going around and people would literally kill and eat each other. So no, that's the, someone's body that you've already killed due to war. So you've got, I mean, once, once you're dead, it doesn't matter. Like if, if someone, you say kill and eat someone, what matters is killing. If you kill me, that's the part that I don't like. If, once I'm dead, you might as well eat me. You know, the, the eating part, it's the killing part. But you, you always say kill and eat animals and kill and eat humans. Okay, um, so are you saying in a war scenario where there's no food, but there's all these dead bodies around. It's okay to kill and eat a human. It's okay to eat them once they're dead. Yeah. Right. Okay. Okay. If, well, you, if you kill them, well, well that's fine. I I just want to build on that point. Okay. If there's no war going around and there's just you know normal human beings walking around do, doing their normal everyday American lifestyle, is it okay to kill and eat that person? But that's completely different. I was talking right, about right, right, right. So. <laughs> That's the point I'm making. It's completely different for you to live your modern American lifestyle, go to the grocery store and buy like a steak, uh, compared to somebody living in like the wilderness, some indigenous tribes person, and he has to kill an animal to survive. There's a huge difference there. Yeah, absolutely. And I agree. I, I, I don't agree think with you're 100 percent right. So I don't see how you can justify going to a grocery store, buying a steak. Uh, supporting the suffering death of animals when it's completely unnecessary like that's yeah, my so point sir, how, do, how can you how can you uh, take something that we've done for so long that everyone does how do you justify making that suddenly immoral okay well i could it, say it the same moral. thing with slavery with slavery yeah it's always been immoral no slavery has always like, been immoral Okay, well, well, first of all, um, you you understand that morals are subjective, correct? Yeah, it's what I define as what I define as moral right now, and I'm going to look back on time and I'm going to say, "All oh, that's immoral." Yeah, it doesn't matter what someone thinks. When I talk about immorally, it's what I define as immoral right but, now. Okay, so that was um, always that was always uh, that was always immoral to enslave people. Okay, uh, to you personally. Like yeah, that's that, the point. That, great well, point. like again, that's that's the point I'm trying to make. Like morals are created in a social context, so in like like you can't just say slavery has always been immoral and is immoral. Like I can agree with you that slavery is immoral, but I can't say that as an objective fact. Um, it's just something that we've decided upon as a society in a social context. So. Previous societies, for the longest time, thousands and thousands of years, uh, they've practiced slavery. So I don't understand how you can make an appeal to tradition with eating meat and saying, "Well, people did it before, so it's moral." No, you're you're saying it was moral because you're you added the necessary to it, and back then it was necessary, and you you just okay, excuse yeah. that. Sorry. Okay. So so for thousands and thousands of years it was it was okay to eat meat now you're saying it all of a sudden you're the one that has to justify it all of a sudden being an immoral act something that we've always done and the um, reason i'm not under i'm not following you here like um i'm saying that not everything previous societies have done has been moral so you can't make an appeal to tradition and say well we ate meat before so there th therefore it's moral now now, you are saying that 99.999% of all people who ate meat, it was, ju it was justifiable because it was necessary because back then people starved to death. In the okay. Um, well, listen, um, as far back as like nearly 2,000 years ago, there were philosophers including uh, Plutarch and I think even Pythagoras. They actually were 
if you read into their their philosophical teachings, they were promoting veganism essentially, or at least what veganism would have been back then. They didn't eat any meat for the per for reasons that like for the reasons I'm stating, like, okay, it's a sentient being. It can feel pain and suffering as a will to live. It's totally unreasonable for you to kill that animal if it's unnecessary. Now that was and back even people, well, even people that was like 2000 years ago. And there's people like Leonardo da Vinci a few hundred thousand years ago who, who, <clears throat> sorry, who were actually vegan or at least vegetarian. But if you look into Leonardo da Vinci's writings, he was even against honey consumption. So he probably didn't even eat like any dairy. Well, that's getting off like the point of all this vast majority of people who <laughs> meat to survive. A lot of them well, starve to death. Well, you like, you're allowing yeah. that, and all of a sudden, these very small sliver of history, very false small sliver of people, you're saying you're trying to shame them and saying these people it's immoral because beans. You're saying uh, yeah, it's immoral for you people. Can, you're you're like, saying that. Inuit people can kill 5,000 animals because no beans. When it's a stark moral foundation that you're trying to lay down with name the trait and it doesn't work, it's failed, it's inconsistent. Okay. If, and and um, you can, you can, here's the thing is you can redeem all this that I'm saying, and all you got to do is say it's immoral for all meat eating. And then uh, name okay, the trait is consistent. Mike, Mike um, I think you're you're kind of trying to play word games here, sort of like with the okay, it's not murder no, argument. No, it's well, not. Well, it's well, it's well, stark well, morality. Well, I'm trying to lay down. I'm trying well, to find no, the listen, foundation. Like, listen, listen. Um, you like you you play this game where you call something. I'll say I'll tell you. Okay, you believe murder is wrong, and you'll say yes. And then I'll say, okay, well, it, does killing a person in this context is that morally wrong? And you'll say yes, but you'll you'll say, okay, well, that's not murder you're not able to make that sort of separation when it comes to animals. Like let's, let's define our terms here. I'm not saying that uh, killing an animal when you absolutely need to, to survival to survive, I'm not saying that's murder. I I'm just saying, okay, well that's, that's a killing. And I think it's, at least somewhat justified to maintain your own existence. I uh, like, I think it's perfectly reasonable for a human being to uh, exercise their instinct of self-preservation, just as it's reasonable for any animal to do so. Um, but I would consider it murder to kill an animal for no justifiable reason, like no real practical purpose. Like if you just liked the taste of steak, but you had access to every vegan food you could possibly well, want, not so you only just killed it and ate it, I'd consider that murder. So I, I see how that not like refutes name the trait. Not only do I like the taste of meat, I also raised the animals. I made them exist. I was their slaves because when they go to slaughter, they have a value. I'm a slave to them. I got to wait on them hand and feet and feed them and take care of them, protect them from predators, take care of them. Okay, well, you could they, say the exact same thing with like slavery in it, like what re it, black slavery. I mean, you had to protect them, take care of them, make sure nobody stole them. You had to feed them, uh, give them medical treatment. Like well, the humans are justify. of higher value, according to well, you. Well, like I, I'd agree with that, but I, I'm just saying, that, like this reasoning you're giving. Well, I had to take care of them to some extent. Like that doesn't justify anything. <clears throat> no, I, I made them exist. They wouldn't exist if I had okay, made them. So, it's okay, a zero okay. sum thing. Okay. Well, well, listen. If I raise, if I had children with my wife, I can't now because I got a vasectomy, but uh, assuming I didn't, um, I had a child with my wife or several children. Okay, I raised those children for the purpose of eating meat. I, I'm going to kill those children, but I gave them life. So d does that justify killing children? Because well, I gave you, them you made it to adulthood, didn't you? That means uh, your parents no. didn't kill you. Well, I mean, your parents, yeah, so that, it's, only, it's, it's only fair that you should protect children well, now. No, well, no, I don't have to. Like, again, it, you're saying that you can just assign a value on a sentient being. You can assign its purpose. So why can't I just assign a purpose to a being that I create? Because it's unfair that you weren't killed. Okay, well, you why is killed. it fair for you to kill animals when they didn't choose I, their thing? I created it. It wouldn't have okay, wouldn't well, exist without me. Okay, well, I created my me. children, so it's okay to kill children, right? Humans are 5,000 times more... Have more value well, I, than a like animal. okay. I, I'd agree with you. by your own. By, okay, so that so that's the reason. Sorry? That's the reason. That's What's the, the reason? reason. 
That's the reason you can't raise and kill animals. Is because I mean, you, that's the reason you can't raise and kill humans because they are more value. Okay, you, um, agreed, you agreed earlier that five thousand animals okay, can listen, die. Listen, um, one. Listen, um, it, would you say a person who has severe autism or Down syndrome? Would you say they have less value than someone who's perfectly normal and functioning? Uh, no, because that person with autism has a family that loves them. Okay, well, there's animals that have families that love them. Okay, if you had so if you had a brother that had autism, you wouldn't want him to be killed. You'd okay, love well, him. well, listen, let, like let's say We're back to fairness. Well, wait, wait, wait. Let's let, let's put things into context then. Um, let's say this mentally retarded person, uh, their family hated them, dreaded their existence, and wanted them gone. Does that make it okay to uh, kill them? No, because uh, whoever is going to do the killing, no one's killed them, so that's unfair. Okay, um, I don't understand how you could think it's fair to kill an animal then. It's fair because I created it. And okay, that's the only, and the only that family like created the mentally retarded person. Yeah, that no, they didn't create him. Yeah, they did. They had sex. Um, their sperm went into the egg, and then it multiplied into a collection. Oh of cells, yeah, that, and then... that context it did. But like again, that's someone's loved one, and and we have that. No, it's not. I, I just said their family hates them. The only reason they had that child is because they couldn't get an abortion. Okay, who's gonna pull the trigger? Who's gonna kill that person? Uh, the mother or the father? Who, well, that'd be unfair because no one's killed the mother and the father. Why, like? I'm sorry, you, how you, would that be fair? Name the trait says that humans have moral value, so even retarded <laughs> humans have the moral value. You're, you're latching um, on to our... No, our, I'm trying our, to point out logical inconsistencies in your own argument. With name the trait, you... You're, you're, okay, listen, listen. You're trying to say that um, animals have a relative value less than a human being, and you're not actually explaining why that is? Well, you said that. No, that, that that's what you said, and I conceded for the sake of argument. That's not what I actually believe, but I conceded for the sake of argument. Okay, let's say an animal an animal has one five thousandth the value of a human being, and then I pointed out a, out a situation where um, I think any reasonable person would say, okay, somebody who has a severe mental disability, they have less relative value compared to somebody who doesn't have a mental disability, because a person with a mental disability, they don't have as much sentience, intelligence, uh, capacity to experience well-being, they can't make as much of a, an impact on the world as somebody who's perfectly functioning, or like say even a super genius. But then you use a completely different explanation for why it would be wrong to kill that human being who has less value compared to another human being. So, no, it's just because the humans have value, and like I said, we have an agreement that says, and you, you say, you know, okay, social contract, social contract, and okay, uh, well, animals can have, animals can have a social contract. Okay, they fine, they get, but they can't be included in our moral contract. Well, yeah, they what, can. what if you were one foot, one inch tall, and we set you in a barn overnight? What do you mean? You were one inch. We made you one inch tall and set you right. in a barn overnight. Those rats would not let you live one night. They don't care about you at okay. all. They eat okay. you in a second. That's interesting. Um, let's set you in Liberia in the middle of a civil war with um, bags of food on you. <laughs> what do you think is going to happen to you, buddy? Like, again, uh, does that make it okay to massacre a group of human beings because in that instant they wouldn't agree to a social contract with you? Like, if you're going to appeal to a social contract, you're going to end up, uh, like, justifying some pretty fucked up shit. Like, massacring entire groups of people who would beat, at, at minimum, beat the ever-living fuck out of you or kill you for food. I, so, I don't understand what you were trying to say there. That Okay, you said if you were one inch tall you and you were let loose into a barn, rats would eat you, mm -hmm. right? Okay, yeah, so you're saying... Them. Right, as, so as you're a very saying, natural thing. Well, well, I, I agree, okay. So, and now, you're, now you're, you're putting this extreme situation... Well, no, I, that, that's uh, not uh, really... Uh, uh, like dropping me in, a, in the worst war zone. I'm sorry, you don't think reporters in, like, F, like, in these shitty fucking areas haven't been shot and killed for food or something? Sure, they have, and that's immoral. Right, so you're saying because these people in these war zones or shitty countries, 
uh, because they can't form a social contract with you personally right now, that means all of them should be fucking killed. No, the social contract's not voluntary. It's it's what we have to. With the, that's how we do laws. Okay, so you're saying it's totally morally justified to commit genocide against a group of people if they will not uh, commit to a social contract with you. No, I'm saying that they don't have to commit to it. It's human. It's, it's involved in humans, and when you <laughs> okay, so you social contract animals, you've created a this huge mess. Uh, okay, I'm I, I'm not understanding your argument now. Uh, I thought you were saying social contract created uh, moral value. That's not what you're saying. No, a social contract is about fairness. Morality um, is, is, is is all about the the definition of morality is tempering fairness, tempering our selfishness. <clears throat> um, okay, uh, I'll bring up the rodent study that I mentioned before. Uh, there have been two rodent studies. Um, one, there, there have been two rodent studies that I know of that uh, involved this. Um, what they do is they trap a rat um, inside some like little cage mechanism, and they bring in another rat, and that other rat could choose to let that rat out of the cage. But uh, if they do, if he did that, he wouldn't get a piece of chocolate. So there was actually an incentive not to help the other rat, and the rats would oh, that, actually. That well, sounds well, listen, flawed. Sir, why? Because he just did that to get the chocolate. No, no, I'm saying if he didn't help his friend, he'd get the chocolate. So oh, there was actually didn't, didn't. an incentive oh, okay. not to yeah. help. Okay. Well, so what? So what if the, what does this well, rat no, this behaviors is, well, have to do well, with the, this? Is, this is very important. The this way is, that we act. Well, this is very important. I'll, I'll get to it in just a second. Um, the, so the rat would actually help the rat that was trapped in the cage, and um, clearly they did that because of uh, empathy. And the reason they actually like the real the real thing that proved it was empathy. These rats would only do it if they were socialized with that breed of rat. So if like a white rat were to see a black rat that they had never seen before, they wouldn't actually open up that cage. But if it was a rat that they had never seen before, but it was a white rat, which they had previous um, socialization with, they'd save that white rat. So um, moral systems are actually based on, on empathy. And just because like this, ha this has been a, an issue throughout yeah. human history with things like racism and tribalism. Um, we have that same kind of issue where we have trouble empathizing with people or even animals that we haven't really had any socialization with. And that's one of the reasons why people are perfectly fine with going to McDonald's and eating a cow, but ask anyone on the street, would they be okay with eating a dog? They'd say, oh no, that's fucking horrible. And it's because we've had socialization with dogs. And I think that's the problem you're having. You haven't really well, that, had any that, socialization that, with these animals. That dog has a value to a human being. Okay? That animal, um, is, it's, it's, it's ended. It's, the only reason it was born is for food. That's its only life structure. Like you take an ant. An ants, is, ants are sentient, right? Okay. Um, the problem with this line of reasoning, uh, Mike, is you're basically saying you're the one who assigns value to something. And if you choose to assign a value to something that is like no value to something, okay, well, that gives me justification to kill it. That's exactly what the fucking Nazis did. So you're going to have to actually come up with a reason to assign a value to something's life that justifies killing it, or else you're going to be just like the Nazis. No, I was so just saying what is, the life like, structure. An ant has just got its ant little life. So I go out and I commit genocide in my yard by killing all these ants, but they're just they're just little ants. That's all their, their life. They're that's, just Jews. They're just little fucking Jews. What are they, like, no, we can just take their money human. and live better lives. Fuck these Jews. They're humans. Uh, I, yeah, but th those Jews have nothing to do with you. You didn't raise them Just like food. those ants have nothing to, like, these cows don't have anything to do with you. I, I don't understand no, how I raised you're... Them. They're the only, I'm the only reason they exist. I okay. raised them, I fed them, I worked hard every day. Okay, well, the Nazis, like, you could argue the same way. Okay, well, the Jews exist because Germans were gracious enough to let them live. Okay, so we're, we're responsible for their existence. So we have the power to completely wipe them out since we allow their existence. Uh, so that makes it totally justified to, ex justified to exterminate all the Jews. Um, again, you're doing this thing where you, you're you saying, uh, I, I created them, I, I assigned life value, I can just... I can just kill him if I want. Like this, this is a might makes right argument. 
No. No? Okay, well, can you explain your side a little more and uh, maybe elaborate on certain things or correct me in some way? Because I, I think there's no, you a... Just said, you said yourself that humans are they're worth 5,000 times more than an Well, an I didn't animal. say that. I, I just... I conceded on that position for the sake of argument, just to point out that like uh, the Holocaust is ridiculous. From. That's that has nothing to do with raising <laughs> animals for food. Yeah, yeah, it does. And even Holocaust survivors have compared the the animal agriculture industry to the Holocaust. Um, very similar circumstances. the The only real fundamental difference is uh, the animal Holocaust. It, 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 I know you don't like that word is uh, we're perpetually creating more animals, whereas the uh, Jewish Holocaust, they were trying to completely wipe out their entire race. That's really the only fundamental difference. Well, let's, I, I want to talk about the uh, vegetable crop industry, uh, about uh, some of the terrible things that are going on in the vegetable okay. crop. Yeah, sure. Let's uh, talk about that. Monsanto, uh, right. okay. expo exploitation of lives. Uh, the pollution is caused, but the artificial uh, pesticides, the pesticides. Oh, I, I totally agree. I think it's. I I think things like uh, Roundup, the herbicide, is terrible for the environment. Terrible. I'm totally against. Um, what was it? Patent like putting a patent on life. I, I think that's fucking terrible. Like uh, again, I don't understand how this justifies killing animals. And the reason we're doing that in the first place is so that we have more food to feed these animals. Well. <clears throat> Like again, it's all we all and for our lives to happen, and for you to have all your comforts. I see you got a lot of electronics over there, and you went into right. that about human exploitation for in order for you to get all of your electronics, and you you justified oh, that. I, I'm I'm sure uh, on some level, um, a lot of the electronics I own, uh, they have minerals in them like coltan, which is a conflict mineral, and uh, yeah, people are being exploited. And, for and that. you said, "quote quote yeah, um, exploited as fuck," but you justify that. The, you, you well, need no, these listen. Things. Well, well, you're making your bargain. Okay, okay. Well, well, listen. I'm making my bargain. Okay, and both of us uh, suffering are happening, so we can have our <laughs> we can have our comfortable lives. Okay, Mike. Um, listen for a second. Um, I'd say a computer is a hell of a lot more necessary than a steak. Uh, that's one thing I want to point out. And secondly, if you're going to say like exploitation in industry is wrong, you kind of have to look at, look at things in context. Like the whole fair trade thing. Like, okay, you could say, oh, this shirt wasn't fair trade. I, th I think it actually is. But you, like, let's just say for the sake of argument, this isn't a fair trade shirt. It came from some factory in uh, you know Taiwan or India where workers are horribly treated. Um, the problem there is, if you're going to say, well, you shouldn't support that sort of labor, um, that's the best labor there is in that country. The people who work in those factories, they're in there by choice, and that's the best job that they can get. It's the highest paying, it's probably the safest work they can get, and it might be the only way they can support their families. So by buying something that's uh, fair trade, you're actually taking away work from someone who, like, that's the best job they can possibly fucking get. So, like, you're you're kind of just taking things completely out of context and saying, okay, well, you're supporting cruelty when, like, that's not as simple as it gets. Like, it, okay, it's not that simple. Let's imagine a third person in this debate, and he 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 built himself a little hut out of dead wood. All right. Okay, he has a little orchard that he and he hand. Does, he hand grows tomatoes and he has an organic orchard and he's going to come and he's going to lecture Richard about all his unnecessary killings. Are you going to listen to him? See, that's the same thing you're doing to me. You're saying, oh, I, I mean, we can reduce the amount of killing. You need, uh, you need to do exactly what I do or you're immoral. Well, okay, can, well, that's can, interesting. That same thing to you. Um, that's interesting. Okay, so this is why uh, moral baselines are important. So the position you're arguing from, um, what you're essentially saying is, if I were to create a moral baseline that says, don't murder, okay? So mm -hmm. don't murder people, don't kill people for no unjustifiable reason. Um, and you come along and say, oh, don't murder people. Who, who are you to tell me that I shouldn't murder people? Fuck you. You know what? You should, you, you should be like some sort of superhero crime fighter. You go around the world and try to prevent murders. Like, if you're not going to do that, well, then fuck you. You can't tell me that murder is wrong. That's sort of the argument that you're coming from. This is why moral no, baselines are important. We but he's, he's broke fairness there. He's broke well, a fairness agreement. No one well, murdered listen, him. 
listen, listen. Um, this is why moral baselines are important. If you're going to say um, the standard for morality should be set so high that pretty much no one can achieve it, and the the fundamental problem here is you're basically saying I'm compelled to do something, you're saying that my my rights and freedoms as a human being should be taken away to achieve this moral baseline standard, which I think is inherently immoral in itself. Well, the moral baseline is in my favor because a vast majority of people are not vegans and they eat meat. So the moral, moral baseline is here. Okay, I, I think you're, you're, try, you're trying to say, let me, well, let you me need say to this in exactly like me. Okay, let me say this in a different way because I don't think you understood. Um, with moral baselines, when, so when we create laws, we try to find a way to uh, uphold a moral standard, but uh, maintain personal rights and freedoms as much as possible. So if we were to say to uphold a moral value like uh, don't murder other people, we create a law. Uh, how do we create a law um, that upholds that moral value? Do we say everyone has to uh, become a police officer, patrol the streets day and night, and make sure everyone like doesn't commit murder. If you see somebody about to commit a crime, like you try to stop them. So, do we do it that way, or do we say, okay, well, don't murder? Like that is your responsibility as a free citizen. Just don't commit murder. So we create laws and moral standards that don't compel other people to do something because that takes away your own personal rights and freedoms. So if you're going to tell me that you're going to create a moral baseline where you have to go out into the woods, create your own hut, live off the land, that's compelling you to do something and taking away your own personal rights and freedoms, which is something that I think you'd be against. But yeah, me telling my, you, my, my don't kill animals, means. that's not taking away your own personal rights and freedoms to any meaningful degree. No, it is because that's what I've defined as <clears throat> what's good for me. Like, what if I told you, like, that's what I okay, want well, to do. It's my precious freedom. I'm, I'm raising a livestock, and that's <sighs> not that's not your business. You can't look over my fence and 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 be nosy about what I eat, and then make some moral standards that you want to agree to, that you want to force onto me about the animals that I'm raising. Okay, so if I were if I were uh, if I had some like farm where I was farming human beings and women agreed to get pregnant and produce babies and I'd pay them money for one. it and I'd kill those children for meat and I was selling really good expensive human meat like would you have a problem with that? Yeah because by your own admission humans have a greater value. <laughs> that doesn't so matter. We're, we're, we're gonna, relative so we value have, doesn't we matter. Something, we have something with a lesser value we can Look, raise. Relative any. value doesn't matter because you actually have to justify that action. It literally doesn't matter. It doesn't matter if an animal is half as valuable as a human, a quarter is valuable, a one one hundredth is valuable. Valuable. Like you can go down the line over and over and over again. Uh, you agree that they do have moral value, so you're going to have to actually justify the action. You can't just say it's less valuable relative no. to a human being. Okay, like like let let's bring up the alien argument. I know you fucking hate that one. Let's say an alien civilization that was so much more intelligent and better than human beings. Uh, human beings have one five thousandth the value of those aliens. Does it make it morally justified for aliens to kill humans for food as like as at their will when it's completely according, unnecessary? According, according to your arguments, it's okay no, it's for those aliens. Yeah, because No, it's you, not. That's what you're arguing. You know, let me let me explain how vague according to vegan logic, those aliens can eat us. Okay, can uh, I explain? Why? Because what you've done is you've looked at sentience. You've looked at human beings, and then you've looked at animals, and you said, oh, they got sentience like us. Right. And so they, because they got a similar sentience, we're going to save them. Then you looked at, then you looked at uh, plants, and you said, well, they got intelligence. They can detect things, and they can They don't have intelligence. Sentience. Yeah, they don't have sentience, so we can kill them. And insects intelligence you don't care about. They're completely and you different. Don't, you don't care about insects. You don't care about, okay. I do if, care about insects. I, I don't like what if, if aliens, I see an, a spider in my house, I don't just smush it. I put it outside. Okay, what if aliens come? They were 10 miles tall. They lived They lived 2 million years. They had sentience bond beyond anything we could imagine. Right. I think it's look like for them to kill us for no, no justifiable be reason. Because we would be like little worms, little little vegetables to them. So they well, could no, because you're no you're, vegetables you're aren't sentient. sentient. You're making you're making you're making a false analogy here. Vegetables are not sentient. 
they have intelligence. I mean, the, we're not sentient compared to these okay, super well, aliens. Yeah, yes, <laughs> we are sentient. Sentient sentience is something that can be objectively proven. Vegetables aren't sentient, so you could say we're ants compared to the aliens, but you can't say we're vegetables compared to them. So if it's completely unnecessary for these aliens to kill us for no, they, their for their well, like if, if it's unnecessary for them to kill us, it's immoral regardless if we're sentient. No, you we you you said we can kill vegetables. We're vegetables, then we're absolutely nothing. They're, no, we're they're not. sentient as no, 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 you're making a false analogy. We are sentient. We're not vegetables to them. We you could say we're ants. No, we think we're other. sentient. We think we think we're sentient, but they could. Uh, yeah, if we can think we're, we're sentient, our, then we're sentient. <laughs> no. no, not not compared to them. I, I they're they're the ones. Who are making, they're the ones who making. And the other thing you said, and I think ask yourself or you said that. Uh, <clears throat> No, what was it that, You're that making if, a false if, we, here, if we farm cows that we're being inconsistent if we don't allow the aliens to kill us that's what you said okay Did you um, agree with that argument that that we are being inconsistent by fighting the aliens if they came because we kill cows these these much higher sentient beings do you remember that argument well, no, like, because lot. again, well, no, listen, because again, I said self-defense is perfectly reasonable. Like if a mentally disabled person who has, who I would consider has less uh, life value than a normal person, if they were in a life-threatening situation where an intelligent person was trying to kill them, and I think it's perfectly reasonable for that retard to kill in self-defense. No, I'm talking like, about, I'm not really against self-preservation. Aliens, so you don't agree with the that analogy that because we eat cows, we are being inconsistent by not allowing the aliens to kill us. That we had to line up and say, "Here we are. You want you want us to go somewhere so you can kill us? That we can't fight them." Well, that's ask in, yourself's position. Well, no. Look in the Warski debate. Um, Isaac pointed out, like, okay, well, it, you think it's okay to kill cows because they're less intelligent than people. Well, what if an alien civilization who, like, comparatively, our intelligence was that of cows to them, would it be okay for those aliens to kill us? Would that be morally justified? That was the argument. I, no, I don't... the argument was, you would, would you allow it? Would you fight them, or would you just allow them to kill them to be consistent? You would no, allow them like, to kill I, you. I, you wouldn't resist it. Kind of, well, you're kind of, um, you're... Because you're misrepresenting the argument. No, I'm saying what okay, you are. This literally, like the the previous debate, literally has nothing to do with this anyway. Um, the thing is, you're making a false analogy. Um, you can't compare. You can't say that there is an alien species that like is so far, you know, beyond our intelligence that we are vegetables to them. Vegetables aren't sentient, so you can't make that comparison. You can say we're something like ants compared to them, but vegetables aren't sentient. That's like. That's like saying, and, that's and, and, just stupid. Uh, it's not like saying anything. <laughs> now, the alien, are, okay, another thing. What if the aliens came down and they said, uh, and we asked them, I said, are you guys going to eat us for meat? And, and we said, uh, and they said, no, we're vegan. And we go, oh, that's, that's a close call. We said, we're, we're vegetarians. And so they came down and they plowed our cities under so they could plant their crops. And then they sprayed pesticide to kill off any pests that survived. <laughs> Okay, this is getting uh, really weird and abstract again. No. Um, uh, uh, sorry, that, that what point are you trying to make? That if aliens came down and they were vegans, but they were using our planet for, oh, I see. for food, it would bode no better for us. Vegan aliens who are trying veg to uh, take over all of our resources to yeah. uh, they would, vegetables. They would kill us because we would be competing for those resources. They would grow crops and we would be considered <laughs> pests just like we do in vegetable crops. We spray pests. We kill them, we plow them under. Well, again, this this is like completely outside of like any moral argument. Again, I no, it, I, it, I already stated. Is, well, listen, I already stated that like we're all beings that have to kind of play the game of life and compete with each other to survive. So no, I, I don't understand. Raise up our own food. We can't, morality. we can't raise up our own. The point is that vegetable crops exploit. <laughs> when a vegetable crop. Is oh, totally. Like, I'm not saying like planting vegetables is completely without cause. Doesn't cause any harm. I'm just saying it's fucking better than animal agriculture. 
Yeah, but it, it, it uh, breaks name the trait. That's why you got to abandon no, name the trait. No, it doesn't. You to go to a better argument where it's no, a it better doesn't. thing. No, yeah. listen, I don't think you understand the name the trait argument at all. No, I'm I'm rejecting the pro the posh where you the part where you uh, gerrymandered it all the way where you said no 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 well, listen you, you don't understand name the trait. Look, yeah, I'll, I'll explain name the, name the trait to you so it's perfectly clear. But you're you you don't understand it. I'll tell you right now. So when we make a name the trait argument, we're really talking about um, we're talking about rights, like something. So it's yeah. not necessarily it, victim it's not rights. No. I don't know what a victim has anything to do with this, um, but we're talking about um, rights, so it, it has a lot to do with human rights. So if you're going to say a human has the right to life, it's wrong to murder a human being. Okay, well, what makes it wrong to murder a human being? Like, what is the quality, or what are the qualities of a human being that makes it wrong to murder that human being? Okay, well, they're sentient, they have a will to live, they can experience well-being and pain and suffering. Therefore, it is wrong to murder that human being. Okay, well, let's look at an animal. Does an animal have those qualities? Does an animal have sentience? Does it have an ability to pain, to experience pain and suffering, uh, experience well-being? Does it have a will to live? Yes. Okay, well, then that meets the that meets the standard for giving it um, the right to life. Now, yeah, I, let, let, I no, let, let's move on. No, 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 let's move on to something else. The right to vote. Okay, well, why should a human being have the right to vote? Okay, well, they can function in a society. They can agree to a social contract. They're intelligent enough to understand the whole legal and government system. So it's perfectly reasonable to give them the right to vote. Does an animal have those qualities? No, they shouldn't have a right to vote. Like, that is how the name the trait argument works. And you're going completely off topic and talking about these insane abstract situations where a ve vegan aliens would come down to, to earth and harvest our planet for corn that defeats name the trait somehow i i don't know what the fuck you're talking about i'm sorry no that doesn't defeat <laughs> name the trait it shows that everything we do costs animals lives in the past totally. 40, 40 years the, trait. In the, the buffalo that we had as far as the eye can see in the United States hundreds of years ago. And we right. hunted them for centuries. Okay. It didn't phase them. They were still as far as the eye could see. We hunted and hunted and hunted them. There used to be a lot of Native Americans that hunted them. And we hunted them and we ate them and we ate them and we ate them and we ate them and they still were there. And now they're gone. What happened? Was it the hunting? Was it the eating? No, it was civilization. And that, and they're all your comforts cost animals life that's why half of all the world's life wildlife civilization, to, uh, I'm sorry, civilization didn't kill the buffalo um that was something that americans did to i think just for sport for one thing but also to kill off the native americans like to try to commit genocide and the americans also like not the native americans like europeans white people whatever um they also gave them peace blankets filled with smallpox like uh, I don't again. Again, I don't understand what the fuck this has to do with name the trait and justifying killing it's, animals. It's because no one can abide by name the trait. Yes, they because can. We all, we all all the things we do kill animals. We can go live with a guy in the dead. Okay, well, you could you could say by the same well, no then, by that same by the, reasoning all the things we do kill people. You think the environmental pollution that we're all responsible for doesn't end up killing people? Does that make it okay to kill human beings for any reason you want? No. Like, again, so so then you agree that your position is absolutely ridiculous. No, there's been more and more. That kill people. It makes more and more people. What we're doing has been making more and more people, not killing them. Um, no. What I'm saying is your life... You're saying, you're saying what we're doing doesn't costs. end up killing people? Costing lives? You don't think pollution costs lives? Well, it makes people make people less healthy, but we're getting more lives with the pollution. Because with all this pollution, um, we're getting more and I, more and more and more people. I think there's a tipping point there, and we're kind of nearing that tipping point. And again, um, if like animal agriculture costs lives, like we could actually have more food resources if we didn't have animal agriculture. So you know, I say that's another misnomer mis about uh, feeding no, all these people if we don't have meat. They've come to that calculation by feeding everyone that feed grain. 
which is right. you know what and you, know, you know what kind of corn they put they feed the, the cattle it's cattle called corn it's more starchy yeah it's 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 like a brick it ain't nothing like the corn you you buy at the supermarket that's like grapes it's juicy it's got a thin skin the stuff that we well i understand so you're gonna that. have to you'd have to feed that so if you feed people well, you're gonna have to feed them soybeans it. lentils spinach fruits cantaloupe well anyway like my point is if we actually used agriculture to the like maximum most efficient extent we could feed more people and that would involve reducing animal agriculture significantly so like I, I'm still not understanding your point. Well, we, like, should, we can do all kinds of efficient things and we can make everyone miserable. We could put our everyone well, dude, in little, like, in like little I, boxes and, and just feed them a little bit of gruel every day and and it would be well, great for well, the environment. Listen, like you're making an appeal to futility fallacy here. You're basically saying, okay, well, you can't be 100% perfect, therefore it's okay to kill animals. Well, your no, lifestyle, <laughs> well, no, listen, your lifestyle results in the death of people. So okay so it's okay to kill people now no okay so you can't make an appeal to futility uh, like, I you disagree recognize with well no l listen even it if you makes say more that, people well no it like sorry if we were actually using agriculture to the maximum most efficient extent we'd cause you know less death of people and therefore the population would increase faster if we switch to renewables rather than relying on fossil fuels Arguably, that would also help increase the population even further and reduce pollution, resulting in fewer deaths, increasing the population. So you can't use that argument. Like, you'd actually end up helping grow the population even further. You are actively uh, causing the death of some people through your lifestyle choices. So Not you just, can't say... No, no look, you, you can't... Sorry, you so can't in the last, say... The last, the last 40 years, the wildlife has got cut, cut in half and the human population has doubled. And so what we're doing is killing people. Come on, no, we're killing. We're we're crowding the animals out with all our conveniences and comforts. And you're not making. You're just concentrating on this one little part. And and you don't care about all these animals being killed in these other scenarios. It's just oh, the guy. You can have beans. But I'm okay. I'm um, this. Listen. I'm, okay, listen. Um, my camera. It probably has coltan in it. it it's a conflict mineral. Um, tribes or sorry, not tribes, um, uh, rebels in the Congo, they actually fight for control over these coltan mines. People are fucking killed over the minerals in this camera. Um, gasoline, like oil, people are killed over oil all the fucking time. So you can't tell me that people don't die as a result of the lifestyle choices you make. But that, are, you yeah, saying, that... are you saying my camera... It, like th like the minerals in this camera has helped increase the the size of the human population. That's like, that fuck helps. off. That you're, you're being totally dishonest here. Now that helps my argument because you've made the you've made that <clears throat> agreement. You've come to the conclusion that you're going to have that camera even though it kills people. So that shows that you, for your lifestyle, you're willing to you're you've you've come to an agreement that I'm going to have all this stuff. Well, these people are going to get exploited. These people are going to get killed. These animals are going to get killed. Well, I'm not going to do it. But you're doing all this other stuff. Again, that, okay, appeal to futility. You and I, uh, appeal to futility. No, okay, so you no, agree. No, not appeal to futility. You and I have come to a different... You're the one who's, who's appealing to futility when you buy those electronics. No, I'm so, not. Uh, you, you did... Uh, go watch that Andy Worski debate. You, you appealed to futility. No, I you didn't. Accused, you accused him of eating meat because, oh, it's, it's futile. But then you turned around and made that appeal to futility to... Buy those electronics. You said, "Oh, uh, you no, said, look, look got, I, I think said, the we all got YouTube channels." No, listen, listen. Said, we all got YouTube channels. We gotta. It's futile. Your uh, lifestyle sorry, costs what? so many lives. Oh, oh, my you're getting, lifestyle you're getting, does. Okay. Okay. Oh, okay. Kind of confusion there. So <laughs> my lifestyle costs more lives than yours. <laughs> No, probably less. Probably less. Less, less. But I mean, I don't okay. know about cost because my life still causes animals to exist. They they're raised so I could have meat. So it's a zero sum. It doesn't really cost any lives. Okay, so you're saying killing Yours does. perfect. Okay, so so listen, you're saying if Nazis were to have instead of gassing all the Jews, they forced them to breed over and over and over again, and they killed their children the same way we're doing in the animal agriculture industry. That's uh, that's morally neutral. Uh, we've been over this a hundred times. Your human comparisons, humans are much. Well, it doesn't matter. It, the comparative human. value doesn't matter. You're basically saying that because you brought something into existence, you therefore have all power over it, and you can just kill it. 
No, if I if I can make animals for food, not something. Okay, well, if animals. we made Jews for food, perfectly reasonable to do no, that? No, those are humans, because I'm human. <clears throat> okay, well, what are the qualities of a human being that gives them the right to life? Why is it wrong for us to uh, raise Jews for meat? No, you, right, right to life? How do you mean, what do you mean no. right to life? <clears throat> like, mean, mer like, well, why do you think it's morally murder. wrong to kill Jews for Jew meat? Because they didn't <clears throat> kill me, and that's only fair. Oh, okay. So are cows killing you, sir? No, cows aren't killing, but that's they're not. Oh, the okay. I okay, made them. So I made them live. Standards. I made them live. Yeah, and I if you were breeding live. Jews, you'd make them live, right? No, you can't breed humans because no one. You can, can breed, breed humans you. totally. We we did that it, back in America with the slaves. We used to force slaves to have sex so that we could have better slaves. We take the most. <laughs> that was wrong. That was and wrong. why is that wrong? What are the qualities of a human being that make that wrong? Because we uh, we because the qualities of human being that make that wrong is because I'm yeah. a human too. Let's let's say for instance because okay, so you're making an appeal to species. So you're saying it would be perfectly, f you're you're basically saying it'd be perfectly fine for an alien civilization to wipe us all out because there are different species. Now let morally me show, let me show you how the fairness and practicality how it would be madness for to okay. Now you're to, appealing to, to social contract again. No, 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 no. Just you're not letting me. <laughs> They're not letting me get it out. Okay, fine. Let's say humans can kill humans for food. It's just wide open. Okay, we do that. So let's say, for instance, so well, let's just say we can all do that. It's just it's, it's open season. So I'm a human being, and I need to kill about say a thousand human beings to give me enough meat throughout my whole life. Okay. Okay. Can't you, can't you see how that's absolute madness that it takes right a thousand, you're, you're that, that, about... the whole world would involve into chaos. That definition of a social contract sir okay you, you understand to, that? we have to we have to eat lower forms of life or we're just gonna kill each other off yeah like plants <laughs> yeah yeah chickens well no like again chickens that we made well no listen you're you're talking about things from a totally practical angle like that's not how we develop moral systems no, we don't no, develop no. moral systems out of pure practicality if yeah, it was no, out of no. pure well, if it was out of pure practicality, what will give us the best chances of surviving surviving as a species? Saudi Arabia wouldn't exist. We wouldn't have slavery. We wouldn't uh, have places that kill gay people. So that's clearly not how we develop yeah, those moral are, systems. Those are immoral. Those are immoral. Well, I agree. And the reason why well, you, you, you think that's bringing, immoral is because of empathy. And that's bringing, how we develop moral systems. And for some reason... You refuse to give empathy towards animals, and you have no justification to kill them. Empathy is not how we how we do things. That's fifis. We no, come to a practical agree. That's why if you look at the law, everything is based on fairness no. and practicality. Nothing is based on fifis. Yes, fifis it is. Just, fifis are just your fifis. That, oh. I'm not talking about fifis. I'm talking about how we actually develop moral systems. It is based on empathy, and it's not based as simple as feet. It's not as simple as fee-fees. No, well, why do we value fairness? It's because we personally would want fairness, okay? And we'd want fairness for someone else because we can understand if we were in the in the posi someone bingo. else's position. Bingo, bingo. No that's no empathy. One, you no just explained us. empathy. No, that's fairness. No, one no that's me, empathy. So it's only so fair that we no one kills someone else. Why do we value fairness? Why do we value fairness? Oh, because that's no, it's hard to explain. Okay, well, what? well, listen, well, listen. Um, Germany benefited in so many ways by killing off the Jews. That was got unfair. rid of, got rid of the. Well, well, it was unfair, but it got mm -hmm. rid of the recession. So many people benefited from it. So, if you would benefit from something, if you weren't a Jew, like if you were just a, a an Aryan race German. Why would you not support the Jewish Holocaust when it would benefit you in every way? And assuming America didn't get involved in the war or anything like that, killing off the Jews would benefit you and your race in every in every way. Why would you consider that immoral? Because my benefits have nothing to do with the fairness contract. S sorry, like, again, you're refusing to admit it's because of empathy. Why, well, like, what does it have to do with the fairness contract? No, 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 listen, listen. Well, nothing to do with the law.
Totally does. That is not how we base our moral systems. That is why you'd be against killing Jews, even if you were a German who would benefit from it in every conceivable way. That's why, like, why wouldn't you take that opportunity to exterminate the Jews if it would benefit you in every conceivable way? Clearly something else is motivating you than the, like, some sort of practicality for survival. Because if you were only con concerned so, about your own personal survival and well-being, you'd kill the fucking Jews. So now you're, you're talking about me killing the Jews or how I feel about killing the Jews? Talk about me personally killing the Jews? Are, are you or just not? Are, are, okay, so you just weren't following along there? No, um, you, you no, said no, no. Like, I, I, I go along with killing. No, I would not go along with killing because that's not fair. Because no one's killed me. They don't deserve to be killed. Right. Empathy. Wow, you no, just fairness. explained empathy. I explained <laughs> fairness. Fairness. <laughs> Law does not. Why empathy, do you value empathy. fairness? Don't you know empathy is something that goes no, on no, in, no, your, no, in your brain? Why do you value fairness? Why do I value fairness? Because fairness is is what benefits me. And okay. So I understand. Well, no, 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 no. In the situation I just gave you, it, fairness wouldn't benefit you. You'd still Benef be in the recession. Okay. You'd still be in the recession and having all these problems that were happening in journey. In journey. Fairness, fairness benefits everyone, and so those Jews did not get the, their end of the bargain of fairness. Right, exactly. We, that, we that's the exact point are, I'm making. Let's, that's let's the exact be, point I'm making. Let's make an analogy. We live in a lawless country. Let's say me, you, and five other guys get a, a roommates, and we go to Somalia where there's no laws, and we okay, all. Yeah, now you're just appealing to social contract. Like you don't even understand. No, no. You're, you're, you're not even listening to my. Are. You're not even listening to my argument. Go ahead. Go ahead. But. Okay. And all of us are just gun nuts. We pack guns. We have a side arm at on us at all times. Okay. Right. And we're five roommates, and we get pissed off at each other. We get in fist fights, and so we all get together and we say, guys, no matter what. No matter how mad you get at your roommates, don't kill. Don't pull your gun out and shoot the other guy. Who does that benefit? That benefits all of us. Right. So, so, so not killing Jews, which also means not killing me, not killing the Germans, not killing this. It benefits all of us, and it's fair. And not having that grievance that would be absurd. Everyone. And then all we're doing with the animals is we're just creating them for food. That's our precious freedom. I want to do what I want, and we've come to we've come to a conclusion where we've got these laws. And for you to get into my business about what I'm eating, it's it, it's none of your business. What I eat, uh, uh, what I okay. raise. I got, a, I got a, I got a fence, and I'm I'm raising pigs, and they never would exist. Mike. I protect I protect them from predators. I feed them. They would have been skinned alive out in the out in the wild. You know what, man? I've got these slaves that I own. I protect them. I feed them. I give them medical care. You know what? They're stupid. They they wouldn't have this quality of life if they weren't my slaves. I I treat them really well. If they weren't my slaves, you know what? They'd have to fend for themselves, and you know they they probably would get killed out there. Like I'm really nice to my slaves, Mike. Okay, so why no one, is it wrong to keep slaves? Because no one enslaved you, and that's not fair. Okay, um, you're kind of, you're, you're making these jumps yourself and you're, you're not connecting things well. Um, fairness, is it fair for us to kill animals when we don't need to? Is it fair for us? No, we need to. Is it fair to them? Is it fair to them? Yeah, it's fair to them. It's fair to them. Yeah, because they never would have existed. Oh, okay, so me killing, uh, uh, like, my own children, that's fair to them because they never would have existed anyway. No, because your parents didn't kill you. Like, uh, again, uh, what the f what difference does that fucking make? That it's because part of your same species. Humans have more value because they got more sentience. You put value with sentience. Okay, yeah. So we're allowed, so we're allowed to make our own food. Okay, so your argument is... We're people, therefore we get to kill animals. No. Yeah. We get, we get that, that seems because we have a precious freedom to pursue happiness and we can create our own food any way we like. Okay, I, I, I'm we not understanding. Animals, and that's not your business. I'm not understanding the species distinction here. Why well, does it matter if it's part of the same species? 
Is it part of? The, why does it matter? That it's part of the same species. Like, why does it? Like, why do you draw a distinction with species? So, why can't I enslave the Jews, use them for food? Uh, why is that wrong? But it's okay to do that to animals. Uh, for the hundredth time, because they didn't do it to you. You're a human. They're a human. Okay. Well, animals didn't do it to me either. Uh, again, you're going to have to try to bridge this gap between species. Animals are not part of the social contract. Well, they they absolutely not part can of the moral be. contract. No, they, they can't because they, can can be. they can't reciprocate. Yes, they can. They, they absolutely no, they can. can reciprocate. They absolutely can recipro reciprocate appreciation. No, they cannot yes. commit to not killing me. Yeah, they can. Totally they can. Yeah, they, they'll steal from me. If I had a sandwich sitting out there and a pig was sitting there and You're I turned turn my head. Steal sandwiches? Would, huh? You're saying people don't steal sandwiches? Yeah, that would be wrong. Uh, right, and that's a common workplace is issue. <laughs> People stealing sandwiches. Yeah, so that I'm not wrong. understanding the, the, your argument the, the, here. The pig cannot abide by that at all. He cannot understand it. Any kind of social agreement. He cannot understand any kind of social agreement. He can't be part of it. He can't. Yeah, they can. They can. They can agree to certain things like don't kill, don't harm. They can. How, how do they agree to that? Okay. Uh, have you ever seen a bear play with a human? Well, let's, let me make you four inches tall and throw you into a pig's bin there. Okay, well, a let's we'll, He's gonna well, eat listen. Your... Well, listen, let's throw you in the middle of the Congo. What do you think is going to happen to you? The Congo? Yeah. Rebel-controlled territory in the Congo. What the hell do you think is going to happen to you? They're going to ran they're going to kidnap you, ransom you, and if they don't get the ransom money, they're going to shoot you. Yeah, that's immoral. Right. So, are you saying we should go to the Congo and exterminate everyone who lives there? Yeah, well, as, at least all the rebels. As they kill, yeah. If they're killing, we should be... As they kill? No, no, not as they kill. Because you just agreed yeah. they <laughs> would not agree to a social contract. No. No, with humans, the, the social contract is there. The moral contract. No, it's not. You yeah, it just, is. No, it's not. You just fairness, admitted if you go to a certain place in the world, them. they'd kill you. Yeah. Well, maybe. So, maybe. What, if I, what if I come up and say I want to be... My, they might, they might not. If they do kill me, then they deserve oh, no, they to be absolutely killed. would. No, then you I can go to a place. No, well, wait, wait, then wait, I can wait, kill them wait, in self-defense. Then, well, wait. like <laughs> again, you're you're deliberately trying to avoid the question. Uh, let's say if you were uh, a gay person, you went to Saudi Arabia, and mm -hmm. they and you knew if you go th go there, like let's say you're a celebrity, and you knew and it, the, everyone knows you're gay, and if you went there, you're going to immediately be killed for being gay. Um, are you saying we should exterminate all of the people who live in Saudi Arabia because they can't agree to a social contract with you? With me? Yeah. No, they haven't killed me yet. As soon as they kill me, they deserve well, to be Well, no, killed. no. Animals haven't killed you yet either. So you're making, you're making yeah, a choice not to they're cause... Not. You're making a choice to cause death based on them not being able to form a social contract. So if you know beforehand that a group of people will not form a social contract with you and will kill you on sight, you must believe that it is perfectly justified to kill those group of people. Then I would be immoral. Why? You just admitted that they can't they, form a social contract with you. No, they're, 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 the fairness doesn't go away. What do you mean, what do you mean by fairness? The fairness is I, they didn't kill me, so I can't kill them. Okay, so then you can't kill these animals because they didn't kill you. Yeah, but I, yeah they didn't kill me, but I created them. Okay, so if you create something, then it's okay to kill. If you create it for food, you could use it for food. Okay, if I created a child for food, I can I can kill it and eat it. No, because your parents didn't kill you. <sighs> <sighs> this is uh, quite a circle we've got ourselves in. Yeah, and you're the one who admitted that human beings are worth more, but you're trying to conflate, you're trying to equate humans, you're trying to put that human in that position, and it doesn't work because you've already admitted that a human being can kill 5,000 animals just so it can sustain it itself throughout its life. Okay, well, you'd also agree that a human being could kill an infinite number of human beings in self-defense, like in war, for for instance. So I, I don't see the, the difference there. Like, are you saying that you personally find yourself more valuable than a, a seemingly infinite number of human beings who try to kill you? No, I'm not more valuable. But if the same, at the same, if I was one of the attackers, I would deserve to be killed. If I was one of the a billion people attacking a one person, I deserve to be killed. Because I'm the one who's committing the immoral act. 
I'm one of the, if a billion people okay, commit a moral um, act that well, causes well, them listen, to be killed, listen, then that's that's it's, their it's mistake. Not, li listen, um, let's put things into context here. Um, if it were a war situation, let's mm -hmm. make things very simple. Like it's two tribes of people. They mm -hmm. can't both coexist in this piece of land, and they they can't move. So one tribe has to has to die in order for anyone to live there. So if, if that were the situation, do you think you're more valuable than the 500 people living in that other tribe? No, I'm not more valuable than 500 people, no. Okay, but you would do it to be able to survive, right? Kill 500 people so that I could survive? Well, for you and your tribe, say. I don't know. I'd have to, I'd have to think about that for a while. Okay, so you'd we, let we, them kill you. Let them kill me? No, I'd defend myself. Okay, so you think that your life is more valuable than 500 people? No, it doesn't have anything to do with value so of life. This, it has is the to do point. With this is the point I'm trying to make. You can't just say, well, I'd kill this X amount of animals to save my own life, therefore a human being is like 5,000 times more valuable. Like, no, you wouldn't do that when it, like with human beings. You can't say, my life is 500, 500 times more valuable than the life of any other human being, because in a particular context, you would do that to survive. Like, that's not how morals work. We, we don't... That's totally just a situation. That's people trying argument. to kill me. That's people Sorry? trying to kill me. That's people trying to kill me. That's different. It's not really. Like, it's a survival scenario. So, like, again, um, let's say you had the choice of either wiping out a another tribe of people to save you and your own tribe, or you could, those two tribes of people could just starve to death. Would you choose wipe out those other groups of people to, for you to survive and for your own tribe to survive, or would you choose starve to death? So everyone dies, nobody gets to live. Hmm, it's hard to say. Okay, well again, okay. this is why, this is why we can't just say, I'd be willing to kill X amount of animals, I'd be willing to kill X amount of human beings, therefore I'm, certain times more valuable than any other animal or human being. That's not how it works. Like you're trying to, I don't know, put in an actual number on moral value, which just isn't how things work. And I just wanted to point that out because I draw the line at sentience. Now there's varying degrees of sentience. I wouldn't say an ant or a cockroach is as sentient as a human being. But I draw the line as uh, I draw the line at sentience, and that gives an animal a certain life value. And if we can agree to give humans rights for sentience, then we can agree to give animals rights for sentience too. I, I don't just say, well, animals are five thousand times less valuable than me. Like a chicken is five thousand times less valuable, so therefore I get to kill chickens. Like that that line of reasoning doesn't make sense. Okay. Well, I mean that goes back to let's 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 solve the Inuit situation. Okay, he he does he can actually live without killing animals, but it's going to be a great hardship for him. Uh, what do you mean, how? Well, like I say, he's going to have to live off cold cans of beans, and not um, the, not the food that he craves. He's he, he's barely going to be able to keep his weight up because he can barely choke him down. He hates him. He's been he's been living on meat his whole life. And you can see how your little moral name the trait it. Uh, interferes greatly and is detrimental to people's lives. Uh, no, it's not. <laughs> yeah, it is because you're making you're no, making them either making them either be immoral. I mean, you're not you're not. Okay. Um. Listen. Uh. I, I can go back to the Nazi example. Okay. Well, everyone was in like the Great Depression during that time. Uh. It's immoral to expect uh the Germans to have. Like it's immoral to like impose that moral standard that you shouldn't kill another human being. So therefore, it's perfectly justified for them to ki have killed the Jews because their uh, well-being improved by killing the Jews. Like again, if you're going to admit that an animal or a human being has life value because it's sentient, you can't just say, "Well, you know, letting it live makes my life a bit more difficult, so I I'm just going to kill it." That that's not a good enough reason for me. Yeah, but I want you to explain to me what that Inuit has to do. When he well, can, it's not necessary. He can, he can, through well, great hardship, he could not eat meat. Well, wait a second. Um, I, I've actually known a few people who have li lived up in Nunavut. Um, back in the 90s, a friend of mine was living there. Uh, he had to spend $5 for a single can of Coke.
So yeah, that's what prices are up there on everything. Right. It's insanely expensive because it all has to be shipped. So um, depending on like somebody's job, it would actually be literally absolutely impossible for them to be able to live on a plant-based diet, like so given is, their income. And people do this? not make much money up there. Okay, but they can move out and then they could move out of that area. Well, they could, they could feasibly, but I, again, you're talking about, I don't well, know exactly necessary. how many people, I don't know how many people live up in Nunavut, but I'd imagine you'd be talking about displacing a great number of people. Um, so I don't know how so, so, practical so, so it's easy hardship. That would so be. this, 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 this necessity thing <clears throat> that you've put in there, it's, it's so nuanced. See, it's really not like, dude, you, can you go to, well, well listen, can you go to, no, can you go to a grocery store and like, do you have enough grocery stores in your area that have enough plant foods? Could you live on a vegan diet? Yeah, sure. I, I'm, I'm way yeah, out in the okay. country. Well, I'm that. way out in the country where there's nothing but beans. I, there's, they only got cans of beans. I'm way, 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 way out. And there's, they just got cans of beans. I just live off beans. Like, Might be a little I don't see... Stuff. Yeah, so see, we're just kind of nuancy. We're this. It's, it's, no, it's, it's not. Like, no, yeah. sorry. Where do you live? Well, you don't have to give your exact address, but what's no, your I'm, living I'm, situation? I'm getting, no, for me, for me, yeah, I can do it fine. Okay. okay. But I'm so, talking about what about some other guy? You do want to? What about some other I, guy? I don't who's care out? about some other fucking guy. Why can't you go vegan? Like, why is it unreasonable to expect you to go vegan? Because I don't like the meat substitutes at all. I don't want. To, I want to pursue happiness. I want to raise animals. Oh, okay. So uh, then it's therefore okay for Nazis to have killed the Jews because they only cared about their own happiness. Happiness. No. Your own personal happiness is the only thing that matters. You ha if I'm not happy, what's what reason is there to live? Okay. Okay. Holocaust. What totally if? Just what if? What if? Uh, like, what do you like to do? You like to ride bikes and with lift weights. Yeah, well, you know, um, I do it more because I like looking good. I don't, I guess I enjoy it to an extent, but I don't really enjoy the activity terribly all that much. I, I guess I like cycling a bit more than weight training, if I had to be honest. But what do you, what else do you like? Do you have something you really like to do? Um, I like, like a, video like games. I like reading. Um, well, what I'm if really someone, into nutrition, obviously. What comes in, what if someone came in today and said, no more video games? You're you're gonna play bingo now. No um, more video games. I'd be like, no, give me back my Xbox. <laughs> give me back my meat. That's what I say. Give me back uh, my no. meat. I just I'm just like, trying to dude. pursue happiness. I'm trying to raise my own animals. Okay, right. So and and I, Holocaust I'm, and Jews totally morally justified because Germans didn't want to live in a recession. Germans wanted to kill those Jews just just to slaughter them, just not for their food, just just to get okay, rid of them. Okay, okay. Well, that was that's a, that's such that totally was different. Later, I think what? that was later on in the war. Maybe like I, I've seen Jordan Peterson's lectures on it. It's pretty fucked up. But I think the main idea, like at least the idea that Hitler had originally, was um, get rid of them so that we can take their wealth and improve the well-being of Germans. Like he just singled out a group that happened to have like a lot of wealth, and he oh, just stole cares? money. Who cares what a madman thinks? He was well, immoral. You're not wrong. a madman by saying, "Oh, well, it's perfectly fine to kill billions of animals just so I can have personal pleasure of eating meat." I'm raising them. I'm creating them. Okay. <laughs> what? Like I don't see the difference behind that. Like that's even more fucked up if you think about it. No, it's not more fucked up because they're they're allowed a life then. Yeah, like that's kind of more fucked up. Like, you, uh, you, no, no, listen, listen. Is, is it, is it like, would you, if, okay, if, do you think it's less fucked up to raise your own child and kill them or to kill someone else's ch child? Like, which is less fucked up? No, there's, they're both the same fucked up. You think so? Mm hmm. I, I don't know. Like, no, what do you if think? you can, well, you know what, dude, if you can agree that killing children is fucked up anyway. Like, I don't see how you can say, well, eating meat isn't fucked up. Like, really? Like, <laughs> do you understand the position you're arguing from? Like, I mean, a dog isn't all that much different from a cow, a pig, or even a chicken, really. Chickens are actually quite nice. I've petted chickens before. Like, you're telling me that an animal that's not too dissimilar from a dog, we raise them, and then we shoot like a gun into their head, we electrocute yeah. them, we gas them, and then we slit their throats open, cut them up into little pieces. Like, that's the position you're arguing from. Like, that's perfectly reasonable. 
No, it's a little it's greedy. It's a little bit greedy, and it, it 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 we do take just like you we explained with you the way you human exploitation for your electronics. We all come to that agreement. You and I have just come to a little bit different spots. You're, okay. and you're pointing your finger at me, just like the guy, like I said, the guy in the hut could point his finger at you. And that's we've just come to different uh, different okay. spots. Um, you know what? I I think we that's should. All we've done, and that's the the no bullshit argument. He he. He, he pointed that out that we, all we've done is come to just a little bit different spots of where we're going to settle on and how I, we're I don't think pursue happiness and how, what kind of animals are going to suffer. I don't think it's a little bit different, dude. I think it's a hell of a lot different, but I think uh, here is around where we should wrap things up because we're kind of arguing in circles. Um, let's see if we can at least concede on a few points. Um, would you say that a vegan lifestyle is... Uh, like we have the moral high ground sort of like it is a better lifestyle than a meat eating lifestyle because we do end up causing less harm. Not on morality. No, no, it's, you, it's you don't think there's absolutely any benefit whatsoever from a moral standpoint to not, not killing and eating animals, not moral, not moral because you're guilty of the same killing for you to live, for you to eat. No, no, we're not just, killing. You just chose, wheat. You just chose wheat instead of animals. No, we're, Sorry, are, are you I, saying I plants that. have sentience? No, I'm talking about animals that get killed to make your food. Well, few, and, and all, far fewer animals get killed to produce plants compared to and, and you, animal you made, a, and you made a great point. You work out just to look good, right? Just to look good. Very van vain. Uh, uh, am I harming the, the weights? No. The yeah. yeah. No, you're, what, yeah, you're doing, what you're doing is you have, to, you, have to <laughs> eat, you have to eat extra soybeans out. And that puts more of a demand, and that kills more animals just for your vanity. Okay, well, Th that's there, a point. there are actually okay. also legitimate health benefits to it too. But for you, <laughs> well, what do you mean for me? Like there, there, like there are actual legitimate health benefits to exercise. Like I'm not saying yeah, I know. sure. Well, okay, I'm not so like again. On, the on, problem for all the food. problem I'm seeing here is you're basically saying ethics is like a zero sum game where okay well you have to sit in a corner not do anything so you can eat the least amount of food possible so you have the least environmental impact like that's not the the standpoint I'm arguing from no so, I'm saying yeah that me and you have different we you not sit in the corner but you say be vegan I say eat meat but not trophy hunt okay or so not, not hunt I used so dude, to I used dude. to hunt I don't hunt anymore because I think it's I just I just didn't like it anymore didn't like just why, killing animals. Why didn't you like? Well, that's interesting. You you used to actually hunt. What did you hunt? I just used to hunt when I was a kid. You know, just whatever okay. I shot, whatever moved. Oh, really? So, like, you mean with a pellet gun or with an actual gun? Yeah, pellet guns, shotguns. Yeah. Oh, shotguns. So, were you killing like rabbits and stuff too, or? Yeah, yeah. And you didn't you didn't like that sort of thing? No, nah, I just you know, I just didn't like kill them because I didn't I actually didn't eat them, so th th I thought that was just like a, that, that was unnecessary killing. Okay, well, what did you feel like? What were the actual emotions that went through you when you actually killed an animal? Like I know you say they're fifis, but I think it's important. Yeah, I just felt a little bit bad for the animal. Yeah. Yeah. And okay. I feel well, I feel bad for the animals I kill for food too. Okay. So then you would admit, like, if you could live li like if you could actually live a lifestyle that ended up killing fewer animals. You don't think that is a better, like that, that is a moral high ground. Like it is better morally fewer. I don't know. That's just kind of like saying the guy who mass murdered 10 people is, is above, you know, the okay. guy who 20 people. Okay. Well, that's a little, murders. okay. Well, again, well, you you're, and I you're kind don't, of, you don't, you're, you don't have horrible moral high ground. Well, no, no, no. The, the problem is you're, you're putting things a little too abstract. Like it, it is literally impossible to not cause any death at all. So you're, you're putting uh, like, you know, uh, sorry, uh, like killing, killing rodents in like agriculture. Like it's not the same thing as choosing to kill 10 people instead of a hundred people. That's, that's not the same you, thing. You could do so, a lot, lot more. You could do a lot, lot more than you're doing right now with your electronics to, to human and animal exploitation. You could reduce it quite a bit. Um, animal exploitation. That's a little bit debatable. Human exploitation. Uh, again, that's a bit debatable too, because um, these people that like I'm buying t-shirts from for instance like that's the best job they can possibly get and even people who work in the well, coal, <laughs> like the coal tan mines wait a minute wait a minute you say they get exploited but at least they get a job I could say say thing of the, well, the well, animals well, killed, but at least they get a life they well, never no, would no, exist. no 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 that's no 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 wait thing. wait wait um, are you saying that having a job in a garment factory is better than having absolutely no money and starving to death 
Well, uh, the Nakarmit factory? Yeah, like are you saying having absolutely no money is and starving to death is better than working at a garment factory? Uh, they'd probably be better off because they wouldn't be slaving themselves to death. I mean, they, they could so probably get some food. Death is no one's uh, than working who's in a garment starving, Who's starving to death? Who's this starving this to is death actually these days? like this is actually the reality of the situation. Like these people in you know making the cheap crap that we buy, like garment factories, so on. Those are the best jobs they can get, and if those jobs weren't there. They would likely, a lot of them would likely starve to death. No, they wouldn't starve to death. They would just be living in abject poverty. Not too many people, very, very few people starve to death nowadays. That That is, well, a lot of people starve to death. Like, world hunger is an issue. And, and again, like, these jobs that we consider exploitation, they actually, they put people out of that horrible, horrible poverty where they would actually starve to death. So, again, like, you, you can't compare just killing animals because you like the taste of meat to me buying a t-shirt or buying like lentils and that resulting in the like death of some smaller animals like you know i don't know a mouse got caught in the thing to make lentils or you know a person got exploited in a garment factory that's just not the same thing you're making false analogies but uh anyway i i think it's interesting that um you did admit that you don't actually feel good about killing animals uh, anyway yeah, uh, i think I, we should yeah i think I'm, like say, I, I, I yeah. realize it's greedy. I realize, you know, that that eating meat is greedy. But like I say, it's it, greed is just a part of self-preservation. We all do it. Every animal does it. Uh, like there is some greed to that. Okay, and like, the thing is, you don't think that there's a better alternative to that, where you could actually like you don't think veganism is a better alternative to reduce the amount of harm you're causing. Okay, I'll tell you what, I'll go vegan if you stop working out and you can get down to about like 120 pounds and still survive. And you could be eating a lot. Okay, well, <laughs> okay, well it, like, again, like, could, could you answer it honestly? Like, do you think um, living a vegan lifestyle is like a bit better morally than a meat eating lifestyle? Or do you just not believe that? Not morally, conservatively. It can, it's more, it conserves more. But it takes away from my freedom, it takes away from my joy. Okay, so you're saying your own personal enjoyment of eating a steak uh, is more valuable than the lives of hundreds of animals. Yeah, just like you're working out. Yeah. Okay, I, I don't understand how my working out really ends up killing animals. You, but eat, you, eat, more, you eat more food, and that makes more another mouse gets ground up. Like, okay, well, again, <laughs> you're you're kind of making false analogies here, but I, I'll wrap it up here. Um, did you want to end with anything else? I'm just saying, guys, give help out Richard a little bit. He got his bike stolen, so he's got to go buy a new bike. So help out with the super chat on him. Well, a bit. thanks. Um, hopefully, the police are able to catch the guy and find my bike, but I don't know how likely that is. Um, but thanks anyway. Um, thanks for uh, coming on the live stream, Mike. Um, I'll link your channel after uh, I end the stream, and um, I'll just read through the uh, super chat for a little bit uh, before I totally end the stream. But uh, you know, uh, thanks, Mike. For the uh, debate, it, it went pretty well. I think I didn't. I don't think I screamed too loud. No, you're okay. Okay, okay, great. Thanks a lot, Richard. I appreciate it. All right, see you, man. Okay. All right, so now I'm just going to read off the no, super. No, no, no. What? What? Um, I kind of want to read off the super chat. No, we have to uh, why is that an absolute necessity? Because it's been a long time for Lucy. I, why, why do I have to walk with you? You know why. I, I'm not having this discussion on live stream, honestly. Well, I just want to read the super chat. Uh, that's before super chat. Okay, well, um, apparently I have to... Uh, uh, go walk the dog. Jasmine is, uh, she, yeah, you know, happy wife, happy life. Let's just put it that way. Um, thank you, everyone. Thank you. <laughs> thank you, everyone, for watching the live stream. Um, uh, next time, I'll try to make the stream not so late so that I can read off the super chat. It's like 11.15 p.m. here right now, so it, you know, and I have to walk the dog. Um, I really, really do appreciate everyone who donated in the super chat. Don't think, like, I don't appreciate what you, you did here. If I had the time, then I would. 
Um, hope you enjoyed the debate. Um, I'm going to try to set up a debate with Sverig, the raw meat flat earth guy, uh, soon. Hopefully you can do it uh, during the week, but uh, probably next weekend. Uh, and as always, keep making those vegan gains. Have a nice night, everybody.